Okay, okay, but okay, but that's very good. good. Okay, this is the word from God. Yeah. Very good. So the word. Okay, now if I ask you, the creator and the word, which one comes first? Jesus, you just Did you say, understand no, what I said? No, no, I'm just asking. You just answer. Let's answer, 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 answer. I'll me. answer. Okay, Jesus, you say Jesus is the word from God. I'll answer. So the Can word and the creator, which one comes first? Yeah. Okay. So the word, please, please. The word of God is not separate from God. So when you ask a question, That's let me Jesus. finish. You are finishing. You are finishing. Finish can I finish? You said Jesus is God. Because the word cannot separate. You read that. That's a different no, no, story. No, but listen to what I said. Don't be selective in your hearing. Don't, don't be selective in your hearing. Let me finish. The word of God cannot be separated from God. The word of God. I agree with you. I agree. I agree with you that Jesus is the word of God. I agree with you. Listen, let me finish. The word of God is an attribute of God. Cannot be separated from God. Like just like God's mercy, God's anger, God is whatever it is. You cannot take God's anger and make it a man. God's just and make it a man. God is mercy and make it a man. Excuse me. He has accepted that Jesus Christ is God because Jesus Christ is the word of God. You cannot separate it. Okay. That's it. Where did I say That's that? That's what I want. Where did I say that? You just say that. When did I say that? That you cannot separate the word from the... Exactly. Yes. When did I say yes. Jesus is the word according to your definition? So, so it's the same. The, the, what you said is the same. Did you mention something the same? Did you me, mention something the same? Let me ask what you did you mention the same? Let me what ask is the same? Okay. Sorry, the what? The same. Same? Mm. 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 Wait, wait, what did you, you mentioned the word the same. That the attribute of Jesus and the word. The, no, no, you, mentioned, mention the, you mentioned the word and, and what? No, what I said, listen to me carefully. God's speech is like God's mercy, it's like God's anger, it's like God's justice. It's an attribute of His essence. It cannot be separated from Him. That's it. That's I never that's concede. Jesus. Can I finish? That's, that's I never Jesus. concede that Jesus is the word in your understanding. Now you're opposing your understanding on what I said. That's my understanding. No matter what you say. Now that's your understanding because which that's you that's get that's from John 1:1. No, no, no. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. That's, that's your belief. That's not my belief. The attribute of the word you cannot separate it. So it's the same. So Jesus is the word of God. Can I take your speech and separate it from you? Can I take your love and separate it from you? You have to understand. No. When you speak. When you speak, you have to be clear in what you say. Now Jesus, let's talk about Jesus. I like I like talking about Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. Jesus, where was he from? Do you know where he, where he was from? No, no. What country was he born in? Of course he was born, uh, you know where. Okay. You don't know where your God is born? Oh, no, but he's born in Israel, okay. Okay. He's not born in Israel, that's wrong. Okay, but he's born in Palestine. There was no Israel at that time. Okay, what time? Okay. So Jesus is born in Palestine. What language did he speak? I don't need to answer that. That's Why? not important. We will come to no, it. No, We're okay. talking about Jesus. Okay. You don't want to talk about God? No, no, that's not important to me. God is not important to you. No, no, no. What where he was born or, or what language he speaks? Why did he, he come? He came to establish a mission. So we have to know the context. Oh, no, I want, to, I want about so, the mission. I'm okay, more, sure. I'm more okay, concerned we'll come about to it. We'll come to it. What okay. he came from. So Jesus was born in, in Palestine. Jesus spoke Aramaic. The word of God in Aramaic is Allah. So this person who says Allah, who is praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, like Muslims do, putting their forehead and face on the ground, who had a beard, who was from the Middle East. If you see him today, would you say this is a Christian? A man from the Middle East with a beard, putting his forehead on the ground, saying, Allah, Allah, would you say this man is a Christian? Never say this is a Christian. You know what? You would say this person is a Muslim. Which was, we believe as Muslims. Jesus Christ was a Muslim. Someone praying to someone else, which is the Father. Submitting to someone else, which is the Father. Being a servant to someone else, which is the Father. Saying the Father is greater than I. The Father is greater than all. No one is greater than God. Saying he has a God, which is the Father. Jesus is clear. Jesus but, said something. But he's clear as well. I want to say that. It's clear. So you he, agree with me? He was. Very good. He, he, he will see the Father and see me. Sure. He, what I do is not from me, okay. but from the Father. What does he mean by that? Uh, so is, is the Son the Father? No. The Son, they do the same thing. He cannot do on his Exactly. Own. So it's about what he did. That they are so one. The miracles, okay. the miracles he did are from the Father. The miracles Moses did were from the Father. Splitting the sea was not from Moses. It was from the Father. Jesus, when he says in Acts 2.22, Jesus of Nazareth, a man appointed by God, by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did through him, and you're witness to it. This is what he means when he says, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. 
He's talking about okay, the works. Okay, okay. okay. I, I, okay Another person. Jesus. Okay. When, when Jesus said, on, on the way, the truth, and the life, sure. and nobody come to the Father through, except okay. through me. So come what to does who? it mean? Oh, what, or how do you interpret that? I'll tell you. Sure. It's not a, come nobody to, nobody sure, come sure. to the Father I'll tell you. through me. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how you interpret it. I'll tell you how. I'll yeah. tell you. If you let me speak. Now he said no one will come to the destination, which is the Father. So this entails that Jesus is not the destination. This, Jesus is the way. If Moses was here today and he made the same statement, he's not claiming to be God. He's saying he's the way to God. He's the only way to God at his time. If you existed at the time of Moses, you have to follow Moses. You have to go through Moses to, to reach God. You have to follow the teachings. Same with Jesus. At his time, he was the way to God, to the Father, but to the one to God. The Nobody, and it's mentioned that if anybody comes, uh, no one will come to the Father Jesus. except like, through me. So to the after, Father. After Jesus, there's nobody. All those come after what claiming that uh, they should be like no. Says, after me, there will be Ahmed, the chosen one. Huh? In the Bible, Jesus says, <laughs> after me, there will be Ahmed, the chosen one. No, no. Anyway, when, when Jesus was crucified, he said it's finished. You know what? What, okay. what does it mean? I like that. I like what, that. I'll tell you something. What, why, why does it say do that? Do you have your Bible with you? Yeah, yeah. I have do you it. know? Do you know John chapter 17? When? When was it written? This is one day before the crucifixion. You know what Jesus said in John 17, 4? What did he say? I have finished the mission. I have finished the work you gave me to do. I have glorified you on earth. So no, Jesus no. is saying he finished his mission before the crucifixion. How can you explain that? No, when he was crucified. When no, was before died, the crucifixion. This is in John. Open John right now. Okay. John 17, 4. He's saying he accomplished his mission before the crucifixion. How do you explain that? Because How can he finish the same job twice? Because he knew that he was going to be crucified. Sorry? And he knew, he knew already his mission. This is your interpretation. Ah, ah, no! Look, ah, said, well, you, you are the one who said it. You said it sorry? mentioned about that uh, yeah, it's finished. My mission is finished, something like that. No, he's clear. He said, I have finished the work. This, oh, uh, the this, God the Father has The done. work you gave me to do, yeah. which is everything he gave him to do. Yeah. I have finished the work you gave me what to do. What do you understand by that? that? He finished his mission. Do you know what his mission is? Yes. Coming to bring the message of God as a messenger, as a prophet, as the no. Messiah. Not as someone who came to die. No, no, no. No. Uh, you, that's what we misunderstand that. You're asking you know, me what did you no, understand? No, no. I'm telling you no, why no, I understand. I'm disagreeing with what... Sure you can. Oh, oh, I'm Absolutely. disagreeing with your interpretation. Sure, sure you can. When he said it's finished, because there is, there is the first Adam. Everybody, all of you know the Quran properly. And you know, I don't want to go back. Uh, Adam and Eve, fallen, sin. We have different no, stories. No, Jesus, you know that? No, Jesus is the perfect one. He gave the image, he came that. as the image of God. So those people who believe in him, is, okay. God is just saying that you, if you believe in him, then you can have eternal life. You can have eternal life. Yes. And that's why he said, it's the way the truth is life. There is no way through the okay. Father except through okay. me. So, yeah. so Jesus had a perfect life on this earth. He had no sin. Okay. But he, he sacrificed himself so that we can have eternal life. Okay, so I those people, no only, only those people who believe in we, Jesus Christ, we have no problem if, with if, that. If, if, if on the on the cross, yes. on recovery, of redemption, is the grace of God to mankind. Can I answer so what you said? So if you don't believe in the grace, sure. Can I answer what you said? Uh, but uh, if, uh, hold no, on, no, let me finish. Let me okay, first. Let me first finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. So, so if you don't believe the first, in Jesus, first, you're okay, saying. I know. I know you don't believe it. But, no, if, uh, this but, is what you were saying. But, but, if you don't believe in Jesus, so and you were saying you something. So Jesus is the grace of uh, the grace of man, uh, the grace of God yes. to mankind. Okay. So those people who believe in Jesus Christ, that's yes. why he said is the way, the truth, and the life okay. to eternal life. Okay. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ in your heart, okay. then then there is no grace. The okay. grace which so much is talked about because okay. there is nobody okay. being good or the rest of it cannot have eternal uh, cannot have it. Praying to going to praying five times or okay. going to church, Can I answer giving that? money to poor, but only Jesus Christ is Can the only way, the truth, and the life. Okay, so so. I know. No, no, no. no. I'm not disrespecting. I'm just Can saying Jesus what? is the okay, only way. So the first thing you mentioned was, was the, the Adam. The first thing you mentioned, the Adam was falling. Whatever you said, this is the story in the Bible. We don't believe in it. We believe that Adam committed a mistake. And he asked God for forgiveness, God forgave him. This is how the Quran speaks about the story of Adam. We don't believe that human beings are born sinners. This is what you don't understand. We don't believe a baby, an infant is a sinner. We don't believe that. We don't believe we're holding the sins of other people. The Quran says... Sister, if you want to speak, I'll go. No, no, i Sorry. So, we don't believe in eternal sin, in original sin which you believe in, okay? So we believe Adam sinned, he asked for repentance. 
That's it. God planned to put Adam on earth before him eating from the tree. So our story doesn't say that because he ate from the tree, he's on earth. This is your story. And we don't believe when you spoke about Jesus being sinless. John the Baptist in the Bible, he's sinless. Bring me one sin of John the Baptist. He never did anything wrong. So if this is your criteria, we have John the Baptist, which is not a sinner as well. It's not about him being a sinner or not being a sinner. If you kill someone today, I'm not going to take my brother here and chop his head off because you killed someone. This is not justice. This is complete injustice. God does not need to commit injustice in order to give justice to human beings. If he's truly a loving God, he will forgive our sins. He doesn't need to do all of this. He will forgive our sins straight away. Everyone is forgiven. Jesus was a mere man, he was a servant of God, as the Bible says. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. He's the only true God. How can you say he's God again? Jesus was a humble man. A man came to him asking him, Oh, good master, what should I do to get to heaven? He said, Why do you call me good? Only God is good. This was Jesus. He was a humble person. You know what Jesus said? Do you love Jesus? You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, If you love me, follow my commandments. Do you follow the commandments? All of, all of, okay, all of us have tried to follow the command. No, are you trying now? Yeah? I, of course. Be I, honest, be honest. I try every day. Every okay. Day I try. Can I ask you? Are you circumcised? In the way of Abraham? In the law? No. I know it's not. Okay. Do you put your forehead, your forehead, your face on the ground like Jesus and you pray? You don't. You pray like this. Okay? Shall we continue? Do you eat pork? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Do you eat pork? Let me cut it short. Why? Let me cut it short. Why? Why? Because, because Jesus did not... You don't, you don't agree with what Jesus said? No, you no, don't no. love him? Listen, listen to me. Okay. That was the law. That, that is just like all of us, we are born in a certain tradition. No. Which some people follow. I'll tell you why not. Because this law came from Moses. Jesus came way after that and he still affirmed the same law. But, it's not about a tradition. He did, he did teach us to, to do that. Really? Yeah. What does he mean by, if you love me, follow the commandments? Yeah, why does he mean... Follow, follow, follow what he's teaching. He was teaching okay, I'll tell you why he says. Kingdom. I'll tell you why he says. Kingdom. You know why he says? He what, says what is followed even in okay, the Quran? He says, he love, says unless... Love, love passion, and forgiveness. Okay, I'll answer your question. This, said, this is why he said. But not, but not following all those... No. Uh, he said that. I'll show you now. Jesus said, unless your righteousness exceed the righteousness of those, of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Meaning what? You have to follow the law. Then he goes on to say, whoever breaks a dot or a drought of the law, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Why is he saying that? Why is he saying, if you love me, follow my commandments? Why is he telling the man who told him, oh, good master, he told him, follow the commandments? Why? Why is he saying the most important thing to follow the commandments? Of course, of course. What so you agree? Command, you know what, what the commandments is? We were mentioned the commandments of Moses. That I should not kill and the rest of it. So All the commandments. Yeah, yeah. Jesus then, said, I but, have not come but, to break but, the, the but laws of the prophet. But do you think anybody has ever kept all of them? I'm not telling you to keep all of them. I'm no, telling no, no, you no. keep to as much as you your capacity. One, your if you capacity. One, if you break one, you have broken all. Listen. So no, but no, that's no, no, why no. Jesus came. Listen. So the reason okay, so Jesus is saying something which is pointless. He's repeating himself, to telling you follow the law when you cannot follow the law. Why? He doesn't know when he created you, he didn't know that you will not be able to follow the law. Because because he was just trying to test those people when he was teaching. Test what? Because he knows nobody, nobody, you. nobody is perfect. He knew that, and nobody was perfect. And no, okay. up to now, those people, uh, you, most people think that it's not, it, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about perfect or not perfect. No. It's about that he was teaching you, he's preaching to you no. that please let me finish. That you will not enter the kingdom of heaven without following the commandments. God, when he created you, he knew that you will fall short the glory of God as whatever you want to describe it. He knows that you're going to fall short. So he can only ask you what you're capable to do. Are you capable today of not eating pork? Clearly you are. Are you capable today of being circumcised? Clearly you are. These laws which Jesus spoke, are you capable today of putting your forehead like Muslims and praying? You are. When Jesus says, if you love me, you know who loves Jesus? Okay. Muslims can who I love ask Jesus. One thing? Sure, go ahead. As a Muslim, what do you think can make you go to heaven? What do I think will make me go to heaven? The grace of God, number one. Whatever you do on this planet, you can never thank God enough for the blessings that He gave you. Everything you have is a blessing of God. If you thank Him 24 hours, that's not enough. So with the, with the mercy of God, you will enter paradise. That's the thing that, by believing in God, the mercy of God, following the commandments, the package that Jesus came with, is the package that will take you into paradise. Okay.
Now you mentioned something which you don't disagree with. Jesus Christ is the grace, is the mercy of God to mankind. If you don't believe it, because no, I believe the mercy is prophet oh, No, 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 you, 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 this is what uh, I believe. Your, okay. This is what the Quran says. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't, it was at the time. Uh, at no, the time, no, yes, no, he listen, was, yes. Listen, listen. I don't, I don't dispute what you believe because sure. our God is so great. No, but he said, I believe, uh, so uh, I'm correcting I don't, you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dispute or I don't, I don't argue because God has, God gave us a free will. Yes, sure. Okay? The sure. free will. Sure. Uh, to seek what I believe is, that, sure. To, to seek what is right. Sure, and, and what is right. wrong. Yes, uh, we, so we know what's right and wrong. That's why I yes. say, 